Hi, I am Frank and I work as data scientist here at Nuclea. Today I am going to show you how to build a state-of-the-art classification multilingual models in a very short time, with very little data and quite simple. We will also take a look at our semantic searches. To do this, we are going to use our dashboard, which will allow us to visualize our resources, label them, and then train different models in a really easy way, as well as search for information in any type of data. Behind the interface that we will see in a moment, we have built a machine learning pipeline that allows Nuclear users to do the typical end-to-end -end of a training process without having to worry about the storing, pre-processing information, transforming it to vectors, and starting the training. Imagine that uh, you have large amounts of unclassified data and you need to move quickly to find what you're looking for. Or maybe you just need extra help to make it easier for you to work with. Okay, using Nuclear then you can train text classifiers at resource, paragraph and sentence level by labeling just few examples of each category. We are going to propose a use case based on cooking recipes. There are many reasons why we choose this team. Recipes are something that we all know and can imagine and they are easy to find in different languages and in different formats. We have here an empty KB where we will store this information and label a few resources to train machine learning models. Once everything is ready, we will be able to upload new documents that will be automatically classified and we will be able to search for information in an intelligent way, thanks to our semantic search. Okay, now that the goal is clear, let's start. First, uh, we need to do is go to the widget tab here and activate the suggest label option. Then we need to return to the home dashboard and make our KB public in order to make our widget work properly. Now let's move, move to, the, to the data. In our case, I have downloaded some recipes from different free domain websites. Since Nuclear can work with any type of data in any format and in any language, we have in order to set PDFs with text information, videos and URLs from these free domain websites and in different languages. This is one of the many perks that Nuclear offers to its users, the possibility of working with a wide variety of data types. So we will move to the resource list. And this is where we will be able to view all our resources once they have been uploaded and processed by Nuclear. Uploading them is as simple as clicking on the upload button that we find at the top of this tab and following the instruction that we will find in each of the sections. In our case, I will use the upload folder option. Then I drag and drop my dataset and I click on the add button. Simple as that. As I said, I have some URLs that I'm going to upload using this option. We click on the add button. And now we are going to wait for our resources to be processed. Now that all our data has been successfully uploaded, we can see it in the resources list. Here we can navigate between documents and see their content quickly and easily. However, to start our training, we need this information to be labeled in some way. So the first thing we are going to do is create a label set. Label set is the term we use to define a set of labels. For example, a label set could be countries and each label the name of a country. To create a label set, we will go to the classification tab here and let's click on the add new button that will take us to the label set creation section. Here we can define the name of our label set, the color we want to represent it, the type of classification for resource or paragraphs, if a resource can have or a paragraph can have multiple labels and finally the names of each of our labels. Our label set will be called flavors we will assign it the color blue and will be of the resource type. Uh, we will check this box since by default our label sets are always multi-label. And finally, we are going to create uh, our two labels, sweet and savory. Okay, now that our label set uh, has been created, uh, let's return to the resource list page. Nuclea make very easy for us to annotate the resources using the label set we have created. Uh, so let's take a few examples of each category. 
for example let's take different type of documents too if it's possible let's label this as suite and let's take some savory examples let's, let's choose a video okay okay now that we have labeled the resources we are going to train our model and this step is very simple let's go to the training page here we can see three types of trainings label search in the training automatic resource label training and automatic paragraphs label training the first one trains a phrase level classifier oriented to make suggestions for the users when searching in the text box the second one trains a classifiers at resource level that will automatically classify the documents uploaded to Nuclea that belongs to the training categories. And the last one will do the same as the previous one but focusing on paragraphs. For this example, we will use the label search intent training and the automatic resource label training. So we are going to do this. We just need to select the label set and then click on, the, on start training. Let's do the same for this type of training. Okay, now let's wait for our trainings to be done. Now that we have completed the model training phase, it's time to evaluate uh, their performance. We'll start by uploading three examples to the list of resources and check how the models classify them automatically. Okay, while the document are being processed, we'll switch to the search tab to see the stack suggester and the semantic search fun functionality. Okay, so let's take a look at the semantic search and the tag suggester. Okay, we see that the tag suggester is running properly and we can see results related to the search. Let's try with a question. Okay, looks good. We can see again the tag suggester and relevant search results related to chicken recipes. So let's return to the resource list and see if all documents have been labeled by the model. Okay, as we can see they have been automatically labeled by your models. So by following these steps we have uploaded information, labeled it, trained multiple classifiers to enhance our information search and validated these features. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, feel free to try Nuclea and all of its many tools. You can find us at GitHub, LinkedIn, YouTube and others. Thank you.